This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2018. Total hip arthroplasty, THA, is a common and effective treatment for severe hip osteoarthritis. However, perioperative blood loss remains a concern and blood transfusion following THA is associated with worse prognosis with respect to death and pneumonia. While the antifibronolytic drug tranexamic acid, or TXA, is sometimes used during a THA to reduce perioperative blood loss, there have been some concerns that TXA may cause adverse postoperative cardiovascular events, such as deep vein thrombosis. A team of researchers from Odense University Hospital in Denmark performed a study to determine if these concerns were valid. The researchers used Danish social security numbers to unambiguously link individuals across several national registries, such as the Danish Hip Arthroplasty Register. This allowed them to study 45,290 patients who underwent a primary unilateral THA. The study population was divided into two cohorts, those who received perioperative TXA and those who did not. Over the 30-day follow-up period, the researchers tracked cardiovascular events and all-cause mortality, and propensity score matching was used to control for confounding variables. The results showed that individuals treated with perioperative TXA did not have an increased risk of deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary embolism, myocardial infarct, ischemic stroke, or all-cause mortality. And this finding was consistent across subgroups, analyzed by age, sex, and burden of comorbidities. Thus, these results indicate that perioperative TXA use does not appear to have a detrimental effect on the risk of cardiovascular events and death following a THA. Based on the decreased blood loss, risk of blood transfusions, and related complications observed, TXA can be expected to reduce the risk to the patient as well as the societal cost of THA.